So today I'm going to explain to you how to look for a tongue tie. There's lots of debate whether someone is tongue tied, whether they need a tongue release and how to do the release. So what I do for all my patients is I take two measurements. One measurement is by Dr. Larry Kotlow and basically it's a vertical measurement using this side of the ruler um, from the tip of the tongue to the insertion of the frenum. And if that is 16 millimeters or greater, everything is fine. The second measurement we use is the research by Dr. Audrey Yoon, which is the opening. So we look at maximum opening, we halve it, and the tongue should be able to be maintained in an upward position for at least half or greater of the opening. Now, can I get you to open really wide? Okay, now try and lift your tongue up and you can see that this young man is quite tongue tied. So you place this ruler on the lower incisors, that's zero, and then you ask the patient to open as wide as they can and you can see here we're opening to about 67 millimeters, right? Now, if you look at his tongue, he can't really maintain it for more than half of that. So from that point of view, definitely tongue tied. The second thing we measure is from the insertion of the frenum to the tip. This patient, because it's an adult with a tongue tie, so don't think tongue ties are just common in children. People ask, well, why would a tongue tie need to be released in an adult? Uh, it's very good for oral hygiene because obviously if your tongue is released, you can wipe your tongue all around the mouth. Uh, it's good from a speech uh, point of view. The frenum should insert at just one point, um, but what it does um, here, it's um, what we call the Eiffel Tower insertion. They do tend to pull on the lower incisors. An adult who's severely tongue-tied has a much greater chance of sleep apnea because the tongue flops over the back of the airway. Can you just say ah for me? Ah. Okay. So we look at the Malamparti index and see where that tongue lies. So that would help if the tongue is released and then oral myology is performed to raise the tongue up. So just to summarize, this is the uh, ruler um, that I think every dentist should keep. Uh, if you want a sample, uh, just send me a message and I'm happy to send you one of these. Um, effectively, we're using the scale to measure range of motion, uh, maximum opening, and whether the tongue is able to keep up with that opening. Uh, that's uh, Audrey Yoon's uh, measurements. We use this side to measure Larry Kotlow, which is from where my finger is where the insertion of the frenum occurs um, to the tip of the tongue. And that should be at least 16 millimeters.